Hi, in today's video I'd like to show you how you can easily create your own custom filters in Sony Vegas to improve uh, your video quality. As you can see, uh, this is my sample image that I uh, took this weekend. And when you see this button right here, this allows you to split the screen in the left and uh, right side. And the right side applies the filter, the left one is before. So this is left side without the filter right side is with the filter then when i take this off then the filter is applied to entire screen so you can see the huge difference between no filter and filter so let me show you how you can customize it and how you can do it first let me show you my settings and those are settings that i apply to the videos uh, taken with my sony camcorder uh, the image is always a little bit hazy, so I found that filter that works really great. And those are the settings. I apply Sharpen filter, Brightness and Contrast, and Color Fixer Pro. Under Sharpen, I go up to 0 0.250. Under Brightness and Contrast, I go to minus 0007. Contrast, 0 0.102. Contrast Center, 0.5 and other color fixer pro this is my settings so now let me show you on this clip how you can create your own custom filter so first you go to your video effects tab and i'm gonna start with color fixer pro you're gonna drag this onto the clip so this is gonna be the first part of your customized filter then i'm gonna click f plus Okay, and I'm going to apply another filter onto this one. And one of those is going to be Vega. Actually, I'm going to go GPU accelerated Vega sharpen. And I'm going to click add. Now we have uh, another filter right here. As you can see color fixer and the sharpen is right here. And then I always do brightness and contrast. And click add again. Now click OK. We have all three filters listed right here. Now, depending on the settings that you want, you can just play with them. Let me just go and exaggerate it so you can see the sharpen. Okay, you can do this. Let's say Color Fixer Pro. So this is gonna be our custom filter. You can use my settings that I showed you before or you can use your own. Now, if you like those settings, you need to save it uh, as your own default settings. So you can just quickly apply the same type of filter to all the images that you want to fix. Now to save this filter, including those three uh, filters together as one filter, custom filter, I'm clicking plugin chain and I want to save it as my own filter. So I'm gonna click filter packages. And now what you want to do is save as your own package so let's say new package uh, template and i'm gonna click ok and here's that set of filters saved as one file so i'm gonna click ok and as you can see if i wanted to apply the same filter that i applied over here on this one i can just click fx and new package template is right here click ok and this applies the same settings as I've applied on this file. It's that easy. Now, if you want to clear this, you just clear everything. Actually, hold on, let's go over here. I'm gonna remove everything and your file is back to normal. Another way to apply quickly one settings to all the chain of events. So let's say I like this one. I'm going to go and click copy because I want to copy all the settings that I've applied to this filter and I want to apply it to all those clips. So you will see this FX is in, highlighted in blue. Those FXs are white. That means there's nothing applied to it. I'm gonna click the first clip, click shift and the last uh, uh, clip and I'm gonna right click on it and paste event attributes. Now all the settings from the first clip, I applied to all my other clips from the first to the last. If you don't like those settings, you can always clear it the same way I showed you before. 
you just click on FX and clear all the settings. Okay, so I'm gonna again click copy and I want to apply those settings to this particular file. And if you check, the difference is really tremendous. On the left side you can see without the filter applied, on the right hand side this is my filter settings applied to this particular clip. Same thing over here and I really like that correction. Look at this. It's, it's really huge difference and with the settings of my filters I can get much better quality of my image from my camcorder. If you have any questions uh, send me an email I'll be more than happy to help you. Thanks for watching guys. Goodbye.